Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got another review for you and this one is Mail Mole, a new platformer from Talpa Games for consoles and PC. But is it worthy of your time and money? Should you play this one or avoid it? Well, watch our review and find out. Let's do it. I always look forward to when a new 3D platformer game comes out. They are a rare breed nowadays, which is a shame because when I was growing up, they were the genre of choice my younger self would always gravitate towards. Truth be told, Male Mole is by no means perfect. This isn't too surprising though, as this is the first game from Talpa Games, a new studio formed by a bunch of recent university graduates. That being said, Mail Mold still provides a gaming experience with far more ups than downs, and it's certainly worth a look if you're missing a good old 3D platformer. While I've got you here, do us a massive favour and feed the algorithm by leaving a like and a comment down below once you've finished watching, and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers my dears. You take on the role of Multi, the delivery mole, who is enjoying a well-deserved break on Coconut Island. Suddenly, Multi receives a letter from his cousin, asking him for help in Carrot Land. Multi doesn't want to make a mountain out of a molehill and immediately calls his holiday short. He soon discovers that the town is suffering a power outage, and our hero wastes no time to set out to reboot all of the power stations. Mail Mole is a bit odd, as there are no enemies within its levels, but that doesn't mean there are no challenges to overcome. As our mole hero burrows underground, you'll have to avoid many environmental obstacles, such as spikes and gigantic holes. To get past these barriers, you'll have to jump out of the underground passage just at the right moment to dodge these dangers. This will not be the only thing standing in your way, as you'll have to get past boxes that will block your path as well. To get rid of these boxes, you can either perform a short dash or use a ground pound to destroy them to smithereens. The boss battles are the only time that you will go head to head with an opponent, which involves going against another member of the Animal Kingdom. Not to give too much away, but the boss battles do linger on the repetitive side. Luckily, it will not take too long to learn the boss's movements and anticipate their actions, allowing you to quickly retaliate and finish your foe. The simplicity of these mechanics makes the game newcomer friendly. However, if you're someone craving a bit of a challenge and you don't want to be delivering mail at a snail's pace, then you can attempt to go as fast as you can against the clock. These runs can earn you a bronze, silver or gold medal. When I took a stab at collecting several medals myself, I was surprised at how hard some of them were. Some runs will require you to achieve a time of under a minute. This can be particularly tricky, as the game heavily relies on you mastering your movements at precisely the right time to cut corners and dodge certain obstacles. The key to success is a combination of knowing what route you need to take to optimise your time and what manoeuvres you need to perform. The speedruns are not the only pastime that you can do, as I also found myself often going back to previous levels on the hunt for carrots and radishes. These root vegetables, other than being one of your five a day, can be used as currency. They can be spent to buy numerous clothing goodies from the shop located within the hub world. This was a personal highlight, as it had a nice selection of items to browse through, ranging from sleek glasses, oversized mailbags and swanky hats. There was just something about picking out an outfit that made me far more attached to this little hero. Several activities can also be found in the hub world. Regretfully, it didn't seem to matter, as the hub world as a whole felt very bland and barren. I appreciate the fact that the more you progress throughout the game, the more access you can gain to the hub world. However, it didn't really seem to add any real depth or value. If it wasn't for my window shopping trip spent looking at stylish hats, the hub world would not have offered much more. The only other useful thing that can be found in the hub world are the cannons, which is how you can escape. Cannons are the gateways to accessing levels and they are dotted all around the hub world. Once you've selected which cannon and which level you'd like to challenge, the mole hero is then shot out of the cannon in a very funny animation, even though I'm quite sure that Peter would have something to say about shooting little animals out of a cannon. On the presentation side, the world is beaming with colourful visuals that really make some of the levels pop out. It was a shame then that the first few levels I travelled through were slightly on the plainer side. 
it does improve later with some of the levels providing some entertaining and creative level designs, but it did make the beginning levels of the game a little more dull and lacklustre in hindsight. Another small nitpick is the soundtrack is a bit wearisome. There isn't much variety in the music department, with the songs often on a continuous loop, which made grinding for those elusive medals a bit more tiresome. Was my time with Male Mole a prime delivery? Hmm, it might not have provided anything out of the ordinary when it comes to 3D platforming, but my time with the game was well spent. There's no denying that the game has several shortcomings, but nothing that dampens the experience to a detrimental level. Male Mole delivers a great little package, even if it has a few scratches on the outside. Hopefully this won't be the last time we see this little mole. And that is the end of this review. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, you know what to do. Go down below, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and give the bell icon a nudge so that you're notified whenever we've got new stuff. Go on down to the info box below and you'll find our social media channels, websites, and our supporters page, where you can support our team if you can. I've been Chris, I'm going to go and play Whack-A-Mole, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye-bye.